There was quite a lot of people that were mad at the end of Avengers Endgame where Captain America Steve Rogers decides to take the shield and pass it to Sam Wilson, the new Captain America, who was formerly the Falcon. Now let's talk about what exactly was the process of reaching this decision and why they did it. So the Russo brothers, they were of course part of many interviews recently. Endgame is still a big topic, right? Even though it's quite a bit ago now when all things considered and there's other comic book movies on the horizon, people want to talk about it. The ending, it's causing a lot of people to talk about specifically the direction they're going in. Sam Wilson, the Falcon, was chosen to be Captain America by Steve Rogers, not Bucky Barnes like it was in the comics. If you guys remember a year and a couple months ago, I made a video talking about the exact fact of why Sam Wilson is the correct choice. If I remember, I'll put that up there and um, you guys can check it out. And uh, a lot of what I said is exactly what they kind of mirror here. Essentially, when it came down to the writing process, to coming up with ideas, to looking at the history of the characters, what they've been through and where they're going, it didn't make much sense to give it to Bucky Barnes. And what they say is if you look at his history, how his character's been handled, what he's done in the world, and where he's going, it doesn't line up. But when you look at Sam, he's a completely different character. He's someone that's been in the military. He's done all these things. He hasn't done anything really bad other than fighting against the Accords. So to pass it to him made more logical sense. And at the same time, they also say that Bucky would have been rather accepting of this because Bucky is his own person. He's got this identity he's got to take on and um, you know, it's the status of the world that reflects everything. Giving it to someone like Sam kind of echoes a new generation for Marvel. It moves them forward in a new step. And in that video, again, what I said was, it just makes more sense because it's a political statement by Disney. And after the huge success of Black Panther, this should have been the most evident thing you could have done because it's like, it makes sense. And that's kind of a brand you want to carry forward. And we know they said that Falcon slash Captain America is still going to stick around for a while. So when you have a new Captain America in an Avengers movie and it's Falcon and a mantle has been passed, it makes a lot more sense than giving it to a dude who was literally chased around the world because he's, well, he's been a giant hitman and a terrorist. And I agree with him. So um, how do you guys feel about this? Uh, I've always been open to it and he was always my obvious choice and I've been the one saying it needs to be Sam so I'm glad but I know some people are mad so um, let me know down below.